Hello. Question number one. It says a pinhole camera of adjustable length, that means the whole to screen distance, placed 10 meter away from a pole casts image of the pole. If it is shifted one meter farther, find percentage change in its length required to keep the size of image unchanged. So it is using pinhole camera. So what is a pinhole camera? That means it's like you have a box over here and this box uh, has a small opening. And uh, this is the length between the hole and the screen. So this is a whole part and this is a screen. And the object is placed over here. So here the object is the pole, which is of, let's say, H not height. Now the light rays from the top of this uh, pole will go like this and the light from the bottom of this pole will go like this and these light rays will pass through this hole and make some image over here. Now this light ray is going from bottom and going here so that will be point of bottom uh, image of bottom and there will be this will be the image of uh, top so this will be basically image of this pole on the screen due to this pinhole camera. Now this height of uh, image is let's say hi and let's consider the distance of the object that is pole with the hole is uh, x and the distance between hole and the screen is y. So this entire is camera and this is the distance of object. Now you can clearly see here that this, this is uh, these are like two parallel lines intersecting each other at the uh, hole point. So we can have these two triangles, like if we consider this triangle and this triangle, these two triangles are going to be similar. So we can use the property of similar triangles. And you'll find that this H0 by X, this perpendicular distance, for this must be equal to H i by Y. So we are writing H0 by X is equal to H i by Y. From here, we are able to find this height of image divided by height of object must be equal to X by Y. Now, pole is of fixed height, and then we want that the size of image remains unchanged. That means we want this height of image should remain unchanged there. So this that means h i by h naught, this should remain constant. Now we are claiming that this is a constant. That means uh, the change in x and the change in y uh, will be such that the ratio remains constant, right? So we can claim that x by y must be equal to x plus delta x that means total x thereafter divided by y plus delta y. Now x is the value which is known to us as uh, 10 meter, y is initial distance between the hole and the screen and x plus delta x is the total separation between the hole and pole later on that is 10 plus 1 and uh, the distance uh, let's say moved is delta y so that will become y plus delta y. Now when we simplify this, so that will become y plus delta y by y and this will become 11 by 10. Further, it could be written as 1 plus delta y by y, which is equal to 10 y, 11 by 10 here. From here, you can find out delta y by y as uh, 11 by 10 minus 1, which is basically 1 by 10. So what will be the percentage change in y? So percentage change in y, that means the length between uh, hole and screen will be delta y by y into 100. So you just multiply this by 100 so that can come out to 10%. So there will be 10% change in the distance between hole and screen. Now since this delta y came out to be positive, then we say that the separation between the hole and screen, that adjustable length has to be increased and increased by 10%. Now this increase can be justified because uh, this height is fixed and uh, if we uh, keep uh, bring this hole, uh, maybe like, or if we, um, bring this hole somewhere there then you'll find this angle will become smaller so you'll find inside angle will be smaller then the, for the same distance you'll find a smaller height now if you want it to be unchanged that means you need to shift this away so that you will get the same height of uh, image as it was earlier so this distance has to be increased by 10% hence this is our final response thank you